Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I mean, how do you feel tonight? I hope that you are having a great time. I'm really happy to see you. I have four people connected. And you see, we're gonna wait a little bit so that we can we can see the majority of you in the class. Okay. So let me let me see something over here. Okay, now I can see Gisela, eh, Marco, Ada, Moses, eh, I have Juan Antonio, and Dennis, right? I have seven people connected. Yes. Yeah, is that right? Do you listen to me perfectly? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So that's fantastic. We are going to start seeing series nine. Two minutes after nine, it is time to start. Okay. Uh, well, I will. I will uh, ask you about uh, activities that you have done uh, today. Uh, I mean, uh, let me see. It's better if I share this this info, and we start talking about some uh, some activities. Now, can you see the information? I will display. I will display the information. Since we have been talking about uh, health and fitness, I have a reading over here. Now, can you see the information? Yes. 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 Right. Yes. So now we have a, a health and fitness quiz. So it's, it's very important that you check the number, right? We're gonna see something related to uh, our nutrition and we're gonna get some points. And then we're going to have um, some points about our fitness, okay? And then you are taking the number. So then at the end, you can, you can check how many points did you get. And then we have uh, some information about your health. And you have some some other points over here. You have five, three, or zero. And at the end, you are gonna rate yourself. Okay, we are going to notice if you're an, uh, if you if you have done an, an excellent job and that you keep you can keep up uh, the good work. Okay, it all depends on the on the number or, or the points that you have gotten over here. Now I will start. Okay, you will choose, remember, you can you can take notes in your notebooks if you want. How many meals do you eat each day? Right now, the number. If you say that's four or five small meals, so those are five points. Yo voy a ir leyendo eh, las preguntas y ustedes van a ir tomando el puntaje de acuerdo a, ca a, a cada realidad, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes hacen. Si acá dice, how many meals do you eat every day? ¿Cuántas porciones de, de comida tomas al día? Si son cuatro o cinco pequeñas porciones, tres o una o dos. Entonces usted va a ir tomando el puntaje de acuerdo a lo que usted hace. Ok, al final vamos a ver cuántos puntos obtuvieron. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ok, so first question. How many meals do you eat each day? Write down the number, five, three, or zero. What is your answer? Okay, write it down. Then you are going to tell me what's going on with, with, with you. You are going to explain your answers, okay? Van a explicar eh, qué es lo que ustedes hacen al final. How often do you eat a regular uh, times during the day? 
How often do you eat at regular times during the day? Almost always, five points. Usually three and hardly ever zero. Take your notes, tomen sus apuntes. Number three, how many servings of fruits or vegetables do you eat each day? Five or more, one to four or none. And the number four, how much junk food do you eat? You know, junk food, right? Very little, five points. About average, three. A lot, zero. This is, this is regarding health, right? And let me see. Do you take vitamins? Yes, every day, sometimes or never. You see, every, every single aspect has, uh, in this case has, uh, yes, every day five points, sometimes three points, and none, zero. And regarding to your fitness, we have the following question. How often do you exercise or, or play sports? Three or more days, one or two days a week, or never. Now, let us move on, because I have the next part. Now, number seven, which best describes your exercise program? Look, both weight training and aerobic exercise. Either weight training or aerobic exercise. And the last one, none. Number eight, how many important is your fitness program to you? Number one, very important, fairly important, or not very important. Choose the number, right? Then regarding to your health, we have the next one, number nine. Which best describes your weight? Within six pounds or three kilograms of my ideal weight. Within 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms of my ideal weight. And the last one, more than 12 pounds, 5.5 kilograms over or under my ideal weight. It all depends on you, right? Five, three, or zero. And the last one, how often do you get a physical exam? You know, how often do you go to the doctor, right? To, to be checked. Once a year, every two or three years, or radially. And the last one, how often do you sleep well? Always, usually or sometimes, hardly ever or never. Okay, now I hope that you took your notes and that you can tell me about um, your rate. Are you ready? Are you ready? Or do you need some more time? Well, let's see, let's see. Um, Take your time and let us see about the points that you got. Now, you see, if you got 15 or below, 15 or below, you can improve your health and fitness. 16 to 30, your health and fitness are a little below average. 31 to 45, good. Your health and fitness are about average. 46 to 55, excellent job. Keep up the good work. Okay, now, what's your rate? How many points did you get? I will ask some of you. How many points did you get? Let me see. I have, I have 43 points. 43, so you are, wow, excellent job. 43, 
Excellent job. Keep up the good work. Very good. Now, what about you, Ada? Let me see. There are some people who are chatting. Uh, Fifty or below. Fifty or below. So I I I just saw a. Sonia Rebecca has problems, right? All right, Sonia Rebecca, I will check it just over here. Give me one second, please, so that I can. Okay, and also you're selling your face some problems with camera. Okay, Jocelyn, thanks for letting me know. Okay, now let's move on. I'm so sorry, let me see. Um, uh, Siomara, how many points did you get? Siomara, let, let's see if Victor is over here. Victor, can you please tell me about how many numbers you got in this activity? Victor? Hello, good evening. Hello. Mm. Let's try with Stephanie Mitchell. Hello, Stephanie. Wow, a lot of people didn't get into the class today. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Hello, Stephanie. Sorry, How many points did you get? Off. Okay. Um, I have a thirty-five, a thirty-five points. Oh, it's good, good points. job, right? Your health and fitness are about average. Pretty good. And I will ask the last person, Ricardo Fabricio. How many points did you get? Well, Ricardo is not over here, right? Okay, let me see. Rebecca, uh, Janelle? Yeah, Roma. How many points I did you have get? 18 points. 18? Yes. Okay. So your health fitness are a little below average, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't have much time. Oh, it's all right. Okay, now, now that we got some results, that's fantastic, right? So we're going to stop talking about, about this, this uh, topic and we are going to move on to another one that is quite interesting also. Uh, I, I wonder if you could see the video I shared in, in the WhatsApp group. Did you see it? No, teacher, really, it is day I'm very busy. Uh, you couldn't? Okay, but- uh, I couldn't. But do me the favor to, to see the video, right? So that you can have some extra information. Now, you know, we are going to start with the next part, which is uh, something regarding to uh, past activities. And it says, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people, and the activities they did during the past. Now, over here, you can see the key expression because we are going to start talking about past activities they did during the past. Okay, so that means that we're gonna talk about past activities and we have a lot of work to do over here. Okay, so be ready. Be ready. We're gonna we're going to start with the conversation. And did you do anything? Is the first part that I will share with you. Okay. And let's see if we are able to to see the whole information. Uh, let me see. Hi to all. Welcome to section. 
you give me one second. I think it's better this way. Question seven. We have. Give me one second. There are two people trying to participate. Okay, Stephanie. Stephanie, let me see. I will include you in the WhatsApp group. Ah, you told me yesterday, right? I'm so sorry. I haven't done it yet. Let me see. Stephanie. Okay, I'll do it, don't worry. Now let us try to see the, the video. Okay, and let's see what's going on. Had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did okay, you? now listen carefully because we're going to listen to the conversation. We're going to read the conversation. But if you identify some expression in the past, you are going to let me know about them, okay? Do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. You always get an A. Okay, now over here is where we're going to identify. Let me see. I will try to do it with this one. We're going to try to identify past simple structures, okay? And I will read and I will ask some people, okay, uh, to help me with this activity. Uh, I will start with Rick and Rick says, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? Christian, uh, Christian, do we have simple past there? Do you think we have a simple past structure? Le voy a ir preguntando si tenemos oraciones en pasado, ¿ok? De tal manera que todos vayamos participando. Ok, so in the first one, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? What do you think? Do we have simple past tense there? ¿Tenemos pasado yes. acá? Yeah, where? Yes, did. Did. Ah, uh, what? did you do actually this is simple past right what did you do and this is the question right but the structure is what did you do last weekend man? did is something about past and also we have another verb now i will ask um i i couldn't listen to christian is christian here hello christian no, Christian is not over here. Uh, Claudia Lisette, I will read the second part and then you tell me where, where can we see simple past tense structures. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Claudia? Let me see, I will check if there are some more people here. Uh, Ada, can you help us please? Help. Uh, uh, okay, very good. This is this is a very past. I had, this is simple past, right? I had. Is there another one?
Is there another one, Ada? Went. I went, very good. Is there another one? Is there any other expression in simple past? Sang. Oh, sang. With some friends on Saturday. Pretty good. I think we did it, right? And I have a uh, David. I will read the next part and then you tell me if, if we have simple past statements. Okay, David? David Roberto Aquino. Well, if David is not over here, somebody else can help me, okay? That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go? Did you go? Pretty good, Marco. Did you go? That's fantastic. Did you go? Uh, Marco, I think you are going to help me with the next one. No, okay. we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you do, I mean, did you go anywhere? Okay, it's, we didn't. We didn't. Then it's we went. We went, all right. And the last is, did you go? Did you go? Perfect, perfect. That's fantastic. Now, I will ask Maria Elena to help me with the next part. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Okay, is Maria over here? Let me see. I have Xiomara. Xiomara, Xiomara, can you help us, please? I didn't. Okay, I didn't. I didn't go, right? Oh, uh, yes. Um, you stayed? Stay. Very good. I just stayed. Very good. Um, studied. Studied. Perfect. Only that. Yes. Yeah, that's that was really good. Okay. In the last part, I know we, uh, we're still missing two parts, right? Um, Moses, uh, Moses Antonio, you're going to help me with this part. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Uh, I forgot. Excellent. I forgot. I forgot uh, all about that. I forgot. Pretty good. And the last one. Um, Nelson, don't worry. You always get an A. Oh, no, Nelson is not in the class. Uh, Oscar Antonio? You, you are wise, yet an A in get. Ah, uh, you always get an A. Oh, but we don't have any simple past statement there. No, right? No. Okay, pretty good. So this is simple past statements. You, you, actually, you actually recognize that. I will play the video. We'll continue uh, with the video so that we can see what's going on next. Oh, I think that was it, right? I, I think it is only the conversation. Let me see. We will see it again and pay special attention to pronunciation, okay? Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. 
I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Uh, yes. Career is not Her this name's one. Ashley. Sorry, it is not this one. It's not this. It is not this part. Sorry. This is the one. Now the last time, people. Let's see if we can see it in inch two. Hi to all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. Okay, pay as you attention. listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. All right. <laughs> stayed home and studied. Okay, we will pause it over there. Now, I need two people, okay? I, let me see if Claudia is, is here now. Uh, no, Claudia, I don't see Claudia in the class. But let me see. Hey, David Roberto? Hey, David is not over here either. Denis Francisco? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Denis, very good. So, Denis, you are going to play the role for, for Rick? Okay, Dennis and Gisela, you are going to help me with the with Meg's part. Okay, I start. You can start now. Okay, so what did you do last week, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to look, 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 guys? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Hold on. How about you? Did you go anywhere? anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. I all weekend. I just started at home and I studied for today's Spanish test. Or Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. You always get an A. All right. Get an a. I'm sorry. That that's no, that was really good. Hey, you know, if you practice this conversation uh, more frequently, I mean, if you do it more times, then you are going to master it. You are going to. Uh, do to, to do a, an excellent job. I mean, you did it great now, but there are some parts that we need to 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 listen to uh, carefully. All right, but we recognize we need to be clear that now we recognize simple past statements that we uh, get or got familiarized with some vocabulary and a situation. Okay, uh, I will try to move on with the next part. Okay. And over here, as you can see, now we are gonna see simple past questions and answers uh, will be introduced. I will try to introduce simple past questions um, uh, with irregular and regular verbs, okay? Regular and irregular verbs. And in order to do so, I have a video in here did you go to the beach or did he break uh, the window? Now, as you can see, we have an auxiliary that is used 
to talk about simple past and to create questions, okay? And after that, you have, I mean, you have did, you have a subject, then you have a verb in the base form, and then you have a complement and a question mark. Now let's see what's going on with this, okay? simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay, I will post it there. And now let's see the information. Okay, as you can see over here, let me see the chat. Uh, okay, Isabel, it's all right. Isabel will be as a listener today. All right. Now let's see. As you can, as you could see, and as you can see now, we have um, some information that's very important, right? So we have simple past, okay, and we have some questions. We have yes, and we have no questions with simple past, and we also have double H question words in order to form open questions, right? As you can see, after that, we have an auxiliary did, a subject, and we also have a verb in the base form. So in other words, if somebody asks you, hey, did you work on Saturday? You have only two options, right? You can say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, all right? Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Let us do it like that so far. But if you want to include more information, then you, you, you provide, I mean, the whole sentence again. Yes, I did, period. I worked all day. But if you didn't do so, then you say, no, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Okay. What about if I ask some of you about it? Uh, let me see. Uh, I want to see if Esmeralda is over here. Let me see. Okay, Ricardo. Very good. Okay, Ricardo. I can see that you are in the class. Okay. If you have some problems with your microphone, you can solve it. You can try to solve it right now, or if you are not able to solve it now, try to solve it as, as, as soon as possible. Okay, so that tomorrow you don't face the same problem. Okay, now I will ask some of you, hey, did you, do, did you work today? Did you work today? Or did you work yesterday? Juan Antonio. Yes, did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. I worked from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fantastic. Oh wow, you did it perfect. Okay. Uh something that I want uh, that I want you to to notice, okay, we're gonna see it later, the way to pronounce regular verbs. This uh, pronunciation sounds like a T in this case. And miren, luego vamos a ver pronunciación, voy a buscar un material de pronunciación referente a los verbos. 
todos los verbos en pasado que terminan en ed son regulares, ¿ok? Y tienen tres pronunciaciones diferentes dependiendo del tipo de verbo. Yo les voy a buscar cierta información para que ustedes se la aprendan y lo practiquen. En este caso, la ed suena como una T al final. ¿Ok? Esa ed suena como, como una T. Entonces, yo, yo digo, yes, I did, I worked all day. I worked. ¿Ok? Never say work it, no, or work it. No, 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 it is not that way, it is worked. Pero hay otras pronunciaciones como el sonido de... En el, en, el, en el verbo clean, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, dice cleaned. Y hay otras con sonido id como wanted. Wanted. Los tres verbos que les acabo de decir terminan en ed. Ok, pero suenan de diferente manera al final. Luego lo vamos a ver. No, I didn't. I work at all. I didn't work at all. All right, so very good. Hey, Juan Antonio, you, you did it. Now, what about if I ask uh, Maria Elena? Is Maria Elena now in the class? Maria Elena, did you go to the beach yesterday? Well, Maria Elena is not in the class. All right, so I, I will try with someone else. Uh, Esmeralda? No, Esmeralda is not over here either. Okay, now, yes. Well, you see, we have different, different questions. Okay, we have two different questions and we have different answers, right? Now, did you go? As you can see, go is a different verb. Este verbo es diferente. Miren el pasado cómo se escribe. Ya no termina en el ed. Entonces quiere decir que es un verbo irregular. Eh, los verbos regulares, como les decía antes, todos terminan en ed. Y lo que hay que aprenderse, más que todo, es eh, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y lo que significan. Pero cuando llegamos a los verbos irregulares, Aquí sí hay que memorizárselos todos, ¿ok? El pasado de go, went, ¿ok? And notice, did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. Or no, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. ¿Ok? If I ask, for example, eh, Ada. Ada, did, did you go to the cinema yesterday? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, what about if I ask you, where did you go? Ahora estoy añadiendo otro, miren. Where, where did you go yesterday, Ada? You remember about the, the word where? Where? Let me see. I... I work. No, where where did you go? Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? A donde fuiste ayer? Where did you go yesterday? You, you can invent, right? Pueden, pueden inventar. You, yo fui a la iglesia, I went to the church. I went, I went to the work. Ah, uh, you okay. went to work. Okay, very good. Okay, so, but you see, we have double H question, double H question, where did you go? What did Rick do? And how did Meg spend her weekend? Okay, but, uh, over here, you are not able to say, yes, I did or no, I didn't, right? So you have to answer by using complete sentences. Okay, that is the difference. Now, let us try with something else. Okay. Let us try to, to move on. I think we are still missing something in the, in the video.
Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. Did we is the auxiliary. We used auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right. Now, I will, I will try to... Uh, create a, I woke a, up late. I will try to create a, an exercise so that you can notice the way we use did. When do we use did? When do we use the verse in simple past or in the base form? Okay. Now, tenemos oraciones afirmativas. Okay. Y cuando hacemos las oraciones afirmativas, usamos el verbo en pasado. Cuando hacemos las oraciones en negativas, okay, utilizamos el auxiliar did. Y ponemos el verbo en su forma base. Cuando les digo verbo en forma base, les voy a explicar con, con, con un ejemplo. Digamos que el verbo es go. El primer, el primer verbo que tenemos ahí. Esa es su forma base. El pasado es went. Y hay otra forma que lo vamos a ver más adelante, que es gone. Pero ahorita nos interesa esos dos, ¿verdad? So, if I say, they went to the park last weekend. ¿Cómo lo decimos en negativo? They didn't go to the park last weekend. Perfect. They didn't go. They didn't go to the park last weekend. Now, if we want to create a question, uh, how how do how do create how do we create a question with this sentence? ¿Cómo creamos una pregunta con esta misma oración? Did, did they go to the park last weekend? Perfect. And also the question mark, right? <laughs> That was fantastic. What about the second one? I woke up late this morning. Negative. I didn't wake up late this morning. Fantastic. I didn't wake up late this morning. A question? What will be the question? Did you wake up late this morning? Did you wake up late this morning? All right. And the last one, she came late to class. Negative form. She didn't come late to, to class. She didn't come late to class. Okay, what would be the question form or the question uh, statement or the interrogative statement? Did she come late to class? Did she come late to class? All right, so now you are very familiarized with this. I really like it. Okay, and let me see. You know, we... Let us try to move on, okay, because I can see that you don't have the uh, problems with this, uh, too many problems with this. And we're gonna move to, um, to, a, to an exercise, okay? In this exercise, we're gonna practice the information, right? And I have uh, three options. Now, you're gonna complete the conversations 
a, a questions and answer must be in simple pass. Okay. In the first one, I, I wonder if there is an, a volunteer. You have to choose any of this one, right? You have you, you have the verb. Did stay. No, what, what is the question, the, the, the complete question, the full sentence? Did you, did you stay? Did you stay home on Saturday? Ah, all right, so it is this one, right? No, the no, last no. one. Ah, it the is the last one. one. But why the last one? It's, it's this one, right? Okay, it is the last one. You you noticed about it. Now, what about number two? No, I call my friend. We drive to a cafe for lunch. The third one. It is the, it is the first one. Can you read the whole sentence, please? No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for yeah. lunch. Pretty good. Excellent. Number three. How you spend your last birthday? How did you spend your last birthday? Uh, number no, first, last, second, or third? Uh, the last one. Three. Last one. It, it is the third one. Sí. Okay. Yeah. Now. How did you spend your last birthday? Good. And number four, I have I have a party. Everyone enjoy it, but the neighbors not like the noise. Who wants to help me with this part? The second one. Could you please read the whole sentence? Had a part time, enjoyed it, didn't like the noise about the neighbors. Didn't like the noise. Didn't like. Didn't like the noise. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed enjoyed it, right? But the neighbors didn't like the noise. All right, very good. That was number four. Number five, what did you do last night? What did you do last what did night? You do last night? What did you do last night? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Uh, number, one. number one. It's the first one. All right. Number six. Uh, I go to the new Jim Carrey film. I love it. The last one. Yeah, but what is all about? What is all about the last one? Can you please read the whole sentence? I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I love it. I loved it. I loved it. Right? So it says that that's in past. Very good. Number seven. Uh, do you do anything special over the weekend? The second one. It is the second one. Now, could you please read the question? Did you, did you do, do anything special over the weekend? All right. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Fantastic. Number eight, I have. Yes, I, I go shopping. Unfortunately, I spend all my money. Now I am broke. Number one. Number one. Number one. Who wants to read the statement? Can somebody help me with the statement? Yes. I, yes, I, I, I went. was shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now yes. I am uh, broke. Now I am broke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money and now I am broke. Number nine, you sing at the party. The second, the second one. one. Okay, who wants to help me with this part? 
DJ singing at the party. Did you sing at the party? All right. Hey, number 10. No, I, I was sick. The first one. No idea. Number one. Uh, this is the first one. All right. Number one. Very good. Now we will check. We will check it and we will see if we did it. Okay. Okay, the first one. Wow. There, okay, it was correct. Second one. Okay. Wow, people. You did a great job tonight. Wow. I thought it was going to be a more difficult, but wow, you made my job easy. Ustedes hacen mi trabajo más fácil. No se equivocan casi, miren. Wow, well, congrats. Now let's see, now simple path. Now I, I will try to get, um, you know, I will try. This was number two, four. Okay, and well, we have a listening. Okay, and I think we're gonna finish with this activity so that we can continue tomorrow, but uh, in this part, you are gonna, you're going to be exposed to a conversation uh, in which simple pass is implied, and you will pay attention for details and pronunciation. That's what we're going to do, all right? Okay. Pay attention. Now, over here, you're gonna pick, pick up some detail from the audio. Who had a boring time? Then you will see, you have three options. You have Laura or Laura, John or both. And those are the only uh, options that you will face over here. So it's not going to be that difficult. Okay, I hope you are ready. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Yeah, all right. So pay yes, special teacher. attention. Pay special attention, please. Well, let me see what's going on with this. No, yeah, I think, okay, here we go. Listening, what did you do last night? Part A, listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah. I guess you're right. Okay, I hope that you could pick some info over there. Uh, the first question, okay, anybody can participate, okay? I want everybody to participate, actually. Who had a boring time? Laura, John, or both? John. John, John had a boring time. John, what happened to John? John. Yeah. Why did John, John had a boring time? went to... Uh, dinner for work okay and he he didn't have a good time he was bored okay very good now let's move on to the next one because later we are going to listen to it once again to get some more details <laughs> wow five minutes and we are almost done who had a good time laura laura, laura right yes laura had a good time uh, who made an old friend? Laura. 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 Laura did. Who got home late? Both. Both, Both got late. Okay, let's see what's going on. Because I, I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember. And I was checking the chat when, uh, when playing the... When playing the 
the truck. Well, wow, guys. Who had a boring time? Sean. Uh, who had a good time? Laura. Who made an old friend? Laura. Who got home late? Both. Now, listen carefully to what we are going to do because time is almost over. Let me see the chat. Okay, Ricardo is participating by using the chat. That's fantastic. Hey, I really love that. I really love the attitude you have. Sorry, cuando alguien tenga problemas con micrófono o con, um, o con la cámara, pues, o con ambas cosas, pues solo déjenmelo saber para yo tomarlo en cuenta. Y la otra cosa es que si alguien tiene problemas con micrófono, puede interactuar en el chat. Miren cómo lo está haciendo acá, Ricardo, lo felicito, porque eso quiere decir que está conectado con la clase. A lo mejor alguien pueda tener problemas con, con el con el micrófono y eso no tiene nada de malo, todos podemos enfrentar una situación eh, eh, de, respecto a aspe aspectos técnicos y este, pero lo más importante es que hagamos uso de las herramientas. Este, aprendimos algo ahora, bastante, poquito, más o menos, practicamos. Voy a pasar, voy a, voy a, este, Good, confirmar. More or less. More or less. All right. Bo, voy a, este, confirmar la ausencia de algunos este, estudiantes porque no los escuché en clase. Christian eh, Salatiel. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, I'm Christian. Class, but I'm working. Uh, I... I can stay in class before. Oh, okay. Only have 15 minutes, but later I will uh, to learn about the class of tonight. Uh, All right. Yes. Thank you, Christian. Thanks for letting me know. Claudia Lisette. Claudia, si no la, la, no la escuché, no la veo por acá tampoco. David Roberto. David está ausente también. Eh, Esmeralda Isabel. Okay, la veo ausente. Eh, María Elena. Que okay, también la veo ausente. Nelson eh, Rodimiro. Ok. Eh, Víctor Alfredo. All right. And that's it. Eh, jóvenes. Eh, les voy a, a recomendar que por favor no falten a las clases, recuérdense que solo es una hora que debemos aprovechar, ok alguien, yo veo que ustedes ya como que ya habían estudiado un poquito pasado el simple pero yo les quiero decir lo siguiente, yo tengo alrededor de unos poquito más de 20 años de estar estudiando inglés y yo siempre disfruto de estar repitiendo el las lecciones porque eso hace que yo me sienta aún más cómodo este, hablando inglés. No importa si sabemos poco, eh, mucho o nada del tema, lo importante es que siempre estemos conectados tratando de aportar a la clase y de, de, de participar activamente. Ok, uh, no sé si hay preguntas. O alguna observación. No, todo está bien. Ok, so I think... eh, solo una pregunta, será que tal vez nos puede compartir algún listado de los verbos irregulares. Excelente, yo voy a buscar un verbo, oh, perdón, un, un listado con verbos regulares y voy a buscar eh, un listado con verbos irregulares. De hecho, este, yo he visualizado algunos en, en YouTube que yo se los voy a compartir en el, chat, en el chat de WhatsApp, porque no se los puedo compartir por, por medio de la clase. 
pero ahí los van a tener, ¿ok? Ya ustedes los ven en sus casas, lo practican y lo pone, los echamos a andar en las clases, ¿ok? Mientras más practiquemos y mientras más memoricemos verbos, más eh, enriquecidos vamos a estar con vocabulario en inglés. ¿No hay alguna otra sugerencia? Si no hay más, pues entonces, let us see tomorrow. Veámonos mañana y vamos a continuar con las clases. Eh, good to see you in the class. Ok. See you tomorrow. Ya cayeron Thank algunos you, teacher. verbos. Yeah, la, 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 envió unos videos. Oh, perfecto, Marcos. Excelente. Si ustedes pueden ayudarse también buscando algo este, en, en, algún, en, algún, este, en alguna página, pues perfecto. También ahí apóyense ustedes. Ok, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. It's been a pleasure. Good night.